cleaning up after my cat lets me know she's been here, obviously. Like in Africa, besides searching for animals or finding their footprints, when you come across their poop, it not only tells you it's been there, they can also hold some really cool information. Let's check out some poo poo info. Poo poo is like coming across a fingerprint when trying to ID an animal. For instance, what animal would leave white poop? Well, a hyena would. Since they're full of calcium from eating a lot of bone, their poo sometimes comes out white. They get this calcium in their diet from either eating the whole prey that they have killed, or they have stolen prey from other predators like cheetahs, for instance. They always seem to come in time for the leftovers, which would include the skeleton. You can try this at home. The next time you're eating chicken, try eating the whole chicken, bones and all, and check out the results. Hey, check this out! <laughs> Other predator poop, like that from lion, can give researchers important information about what they're eating. What do we think made this cow pie looking thing? Well, one of these boys, a Cape Buffalo. <coughs> Excuse me if I'm a little hoarse for this next one. Ah, yes, it's zebra poop. Now researchers can take these poo samples from zebra and other hoofstock to see if the animals have any parasites in them. Now what large animal would leave this huge mess? Here, I'll hold it closer for a good look. That's right, the elephant. Elephants are the king of poo-poo. They can eat well over three to 400 pounds of food a day, and what comes in has to come out, so they can easily leave a few hundred pounds of poo behind them. Now their poo sometimes contains seeds in it, which helps replenish the local plant population. The rhinos also pack a lot of punch with their poop. Their poop not only helps fertilize land, but you can tell what species of rhino it is from just looking at it. For instance, the white rhino, who keeps its head low to the ground, who likes to graze, will have a lot of grass in its poop. And the black rhino, with its prehensile lip, that will often grab little branches, you'll see little sticks in its poo poo. What do you think splattered this all around? Well, it was the territorial hippo. With its tail winding around almost acting like a fan, it can spread its poop all over, whether it's in water or on land. Well, all good things have to come to an end. So I hope you see Africa's wildlife from the very, very small to the very, very big all have to poop. And that poop is actually pretty interesting. For more cool poo-poo information and also a year-end look at Brian's Hour for Animals, check out the description box right over there. And also I want to say thank you to you and to YouTube for watching my videos, which helps me provide an extra little income for some wonderful wildlife groups out there this holiday season. So thank you for helping wildlife.